Oh, it's recording. Still learning this phone. It's a Samsung. I don't know anything about it. Anyways, what's up, YouTube? You know who it is. You clicked on the channel. <clears throat> so a lot. Been working on a lot here lately. I'm trying to. Um, I'm fixing to turn smooth criminal. Or working towards turning smooth criminal customs into a bigger biz, a business, I guess. I mean, this is years down the road, but. I got all the, the place to do it, so we figured out exactly what all this property needs to be, and now all we got to do is figure out how to get there, so, but it looks like I'm going to be a landlord as well as owning a custom shop, hopefully, in the future. We got a long ways to go. So right now we're focusing still on smooth criminal customs on a smaller scale with the Hot Wheels, as we always will, but, um, so I'm working on some of these to fix and put some stuff on eBay. I actually, last month, I think it was, bought the domain name smoothcriminalcustoms.com. So, yeah. We're going to start um, doing that to sell it on sell on the, my website instead of just, you know, through eBay. So, yeah. I'm actually fixing to turn this into something. Working on a Facebook page as well. And... Trying to fix, trying to figure out Instagram on this phone here. Cause I, this is one that don't work, but the camera is really nice, and so you can really see how pretty I am. But yeah, and you can see how cool the cars are too. So let's turn this around and look at some works in progress, and then we'll talk some more. All right, we'll start here. This is a um, this is a custom I'm working on for my buddy Dustin. This is the wanted a Silverado rat rod so hopefully he's liking where this is going I still got some work to do on it I'm trying to figure out what to do with the exhaust how I want to do it so I think I'm going to go ahead and do some crazy exhaust on it that's a little bit more of a rat rod-ish it's, it's hard turning a Silverado into a rat rod I chopped it up put a big engine in it that thing on the front built the frame um, out of some plastic stuff the bumper as well and the differential <laughs> if you can see that I don't know what all kind of stuff I used to build that but it's not painted but it looks like yeah it's the end of a mechanical pencil so that's probably a uh, the shaft is probably a q-tip some of those plastic q-tips then I cut the top out and it's got a plaid interior in it Hopefully this is the idea he was looking for or cooler than what he expected. I don't know, Dustin. Let me know. Or, or you know what? I should have said don't look if you don't want to see your works in progress. <laughs> so we got that one. We'll show his first. I started with that one because it was the most loose parts. But this is one. I don't know if I've showed it. I sent the picture to him. He wanted a hover mode Silverado. So this one's almost done. I'm going to add more detail to it with some wires and stuff to add it like the uh, like the, the, the details the actual DeLorean has or time machine DeLorean has but it rolls yeah still got some body work to do on it which is something I've been practicing on and this will show it right here this is why I'm fixing to sell some stuff I need uh, like Bondo or, or putty type stuff but um, he also wanted a Silverado with that body kit phone there we go <clears throat> so I'm trying this is my first time to try to do a body kit like this on a Silverado but still got lots of work to do body work and stuff on this but I'm liking the way it's coming out this is just credit cards I don't have the, the money or the materials yet to get everything I need like styrene and the glue for styrene but I'm making pretty good progress with the uh, old credit cards it doesn't seem to cut or file as nice as what styrene looks like it does I don't know. but you can see where I'm needing some of that body filler I've seen people use this green stuff and that's what my buddy says I need anyways there's that one those are the three I've been working on for him you know, there's a lot he's got a long list of stuff <coughs> 
But that one, he wanted one with a body kit, so that kind of, so I didn't know what to do. So before I even started his, this is where I came up, <laughs> where I started at, on one, and it was too far, too much, too much. Oh, it might not, I might not be able to get it up there. Here we go, we'll go upside down. But yeah, this one's gonna, <laughs> I'm not sure what people are gonna think of this. Silverado guys, and Nissan guys. Yeah, I said those two words in the same sentence. So that, I'm calling this the, the Chevy SS. The Silverado Skyline. Because I merged body parts from a, I don't know what, I think it was a Jada casting Nissan Skyline. I put the front end on there with the fenders. And so I'm molding some more fenders in there. When they said body kit, this is where my head went. I'm like, no, that's not, that's a conversion. That's not a body kit smooth criminal. Come on, man. So anyways, I got this far on this one before I started working on that one. <laughs> Which this is cool too. But this is, this is where my head goes. And one of the, if you, if you look on the inside, it's right hand drive. Yeah, I found an interior in a car that was right-hand drive that, that fit inside here. And it's going to roll. It's, I mean, that, that, this is the Silverado chassis <laughs> with very limited um, modification. Did I even modify it at all? Oh, yeah, I cut the front a tiny bit. And it's, it's still fitting in there. As far as interior pieces, I've still got the, the black bed piece because that helps hold everything in there but there's the interior I don't know how to turn autofocus on is that autofocus AF no there we go I don't know but yeah that's cool right hand drive I have a these are other pieces I don't know what I'm going to do oh that's for the other truck I'm getting lost Where's it at? Oh, this this looks like this is an LT1, I think, or supposed to be. So I'm probably going to use this, but figure out how to put some turbos and stuff in there, make the engine compartment really customized. Okay, these pieces go with the rat rod. So I'll scoot over there, make piles. Finish the chassis on this. Uh, uh oh, losing wheels. <clears throat> this Impala. It out. So now I'm fixing to get ready to paint. Been been playing with painting, but it still it rolls. We'll start with this one. This is a, a paint. The pearls, the jacquard pearls. I'm experimenting with. I finally got my airbrush going good, and I'm set up in a good place where I can do this. I'm gonna turn on the light and see if it helps. This. Man, these cameras. Even this good camera don't do this thing. Anyway, it was a salmon pink uh, pearl pigment, and it's on top of a black base. This was a car I'd already built, but the black just looked bad. Well, it looked like the base. You see how bad the base is? <laughs> this thick rattle can. This is an earlier custom, and I put that um, pigment on there just on top of it, and then added some Hello Kitty. When I was done with it, I, I wasn't going to do decals, but I saw, I, these are old decals. I'm just trying to finish up a lot of old stuff before I really start working on stuff. I've been experimenting with the um, Spectre Flame. I'm gonna go behind. Because I want you to see the Spectre Flame. Oh yeah, that, that, that's, that's a good shot. So I'm getting better with the Spectre Flame. I'm almost out. So I'm gonna sell some stuff so that I can get more materials. Lot of work to do, but this is one I was been working on because I did a wheel swap with some um, red lines. These are the, um, and they're not the ones with the posts. I'm not sure if these are original or replicas. To be completely honest with you, I, I cannot remember because I had had some, but I, honestly I don't remember on this one. 
but I also added some detail on the surfboards. Can't really see them, but yeah. And I put some trim on the side. But yeah, that's looking good. And so after I did this one, I did a Silverado. Just did the Spectre Flame with the wheel swap, and then I had got some of these computers from I think it's called Pan. I mean these decals from Pandas Custom. Instagram. He has a website. So I put some, got some of those 50th anniversary decals. And I didn't know what really to do with this. I was gonna put a white stripe that that came with this, but I ended up messing up the decals trying to cut them. It's, they're hard to see when it's white. Even for, trying to follow the dotted lines, it's still it's still messed up. But anyways, I thought the Specter Flame came out real nice. I, I polished both of these bodies up as, as shiny as I could and then laid the Spectre Flame on there. And then clear coat. These I, I didn't have any hardener so I, I was like well actually I thought I had hardener but it was hard <laughs> after I'd already sprayed got it, all, everything going before I, anyways. Well this has a clear coat on there and it's working just fine. Made it look a little thicker as well. Spectrum flame pearls. But yeah, that's what's on the table in the office. Because yeah, we're in the office now. This isn't the Hot Wheels room no more. We then had to rearrange. <clears throat> but this will get us where we're going. So yeah. Working on a bunch of stuff. I got stuff everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, I got my bottle opener, Velcro to the desk. This is a custom, my buddy, he painted this uh, Lamborghini for me, and then I added the white and green detail. This was his first paint experiment with a gun that we got from Harbor Freight, a big air gun, paint gun. But then he, he uh, gave, it, gave it to me and said, find wheels for it and put it back together. So when I was putting it back together, I decided it needed details and I had that I had the green pen the paint pen and when I, I just did the green and then I'm like whoa I need to put white because that's the colors of the Italian flag red white and green anyways that came out pretty cool so that's what's been going on here in the office and in the shop just working getting things done oh I gotta show you this if I can He's also, and his mom, his mom does etching on glass. And so Brian did some, can you see it? We're redesigning, well not redesigning, we're actually making a Smooth Criminal uh -huh. Customs logo. Instead of, you know, because I'm Smooth Criminal, so Smooth Criminal Customs needs its own logo. I can't really see that. I'm trying to show it, but I can't see it. Anyways, you'll see more of that when I figure this phone out. But that's something else we're going to be doing on the cars when we fix those up. It's wind etching on the windows and painting and fiberglass work and a little bit of everything. We already got people wanting us to do stuff. We're just try, trying to get the... We need a car lift and a place to work because my shop's not big enough to pull cars in. So which is why I'm going to move into it. Turn that into a house. And then the big house, sex, it was already sectioned up into a duplex. So I'm just going to remodel it, fix it up, and rent out. An efficiency apartment and a one bedroom apartment. Yeah, I think it's years down the road, so it'll take a lot of work to get this place to the level to get the type of renters I want. It ain't gonna be one of those places that anybody gonna rent it. <laughs> nope. Because I don't have to have it to live off of. That's the thing. So I can be pretty picky on what's in there. I don't have to rent it because I'm not you, you needing this to live off of. Not yet, anyways. So that's what's going on here at Smooth Criminal Empire. It's growing and shrinking at the same time. That's the story for another day. So yeah. Let me know what you think of the customs. Um, some of this stuff is going to be up on eBay. I've got some stuff, no customs yet, on eBay. Uh, there's some stuff up on eBay right now. Some stuff is not even Hot Wheels related. There's some camera stuff. If you're, if you're into cameras, there was some camera 
stuff on there and some old um a reel to reel recorder an old one with actually has some old preacher still on there <laughs> it's pretty neat anyways check some of that stuff out if you're interested in that stuff some of you old audio files out there so there's some other crazy stuff i don't know what it is anyways so yeah appreciate all my subscribers that stays tuned in through the ups and downs and ins and outs so just keep working through the ups and downs and now that we have a plan i have a plan figured out on where this goes and how and what it can be now it's just getting there i'm working to get there so stay tuned to see what else comes out of here because it's going to keep growing and getting bigger we might have a real one of those someday but i do like that body of the truck anyways i'm out smooth criminal be good or be good at it <laughs>